You know, to quote one of my heroes, the, uh, the modern philosopher and probably the best stand-up comedian of any generation, uh, George Carlin, once said, I don't have pet peeves. I have major psychotic fucking hatreds. And um, I think that kind of applies here. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, me and Zed are just enjoying our afternoon coffee and uh, watching some videos. And, you know, I, I saw this video once before. I believe it's from March of last year, somewhere in Missouri. Um, now, Missouri had already passed uh, the law on, on, on medical marijuana, I believe, in November of, of 2018. And they passed the law, they, they did the, the, the legislation, the red tape, all that good stuff. But it won't go into effect until now, I believe. Uh, should have been in January. This video is from March of last year, which is a good spot in between, you know, passing the legislation and the legislation actually going into effect. Apparently, the security at this hospital called the authorities on this gentleman who is a, he's a cancer patient. He has, a, I believe, stage four pancreatic cancer, which if you know anything about that, ain't no fucking joke. He's probably not going to come back from that. I, I would assume, I haven't looked into it yet, but I, I would assume that if he's not in extremely rough shape, he, he has passed already Th that's how serious that that scenario is um so let, let's get into it i just want to preface this that i find these people deplorable the the the, the officers I, I get why they're there and i i, I get the, the 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 tricky situation that they find themselves in but the way they handle this is it just it's disgusting so, let's get into it. Then you call Ray. Yeah, Ray's got it. Ray. Ray's yelling at everybody, but this is what, when you have stage four pancreatic cancer, all my tribe mates. Here they are. I took, I had some capsules that had some THC oil in them. I took them outside on the parking lot. You know, I can get a whole list of physicians that will tell you that what he's using manages his pain. These are all the his people. This is Tim Roberts. His weight loss. This is Tim Roberts, but I am going to get arrested. They already told me I'm going to get arrested. If, if we find every marijuana, single one of you we'll, would be we'll, using the same thing. Here we go, folks. If, if we four. find marijuana, we'll give you a citation. We're not taking you down to the county jail. But... We haven't found marijuana, so we're not setting. Well, well, I mean, why are you digging in stuff? I told you where I took it. Because we got a call. You don't. Think you we, you call? don't think we're gonna respond to calls? I, but okay. who? Yeah, I could, so I can call anybody. No, no. Listen, let's let's let them right. look and do their job. And you ain't got anything to hide. But I, I want to know why it's a big deal if it just got, if it's, it is really it's, illegal. It's, it's, it's illegal. It's, it's really illegal in Missouri now. THC oil. Medically in Missouri, it's really legal now. They just haven't finished the paperwork. Okay, well then it's still but I don't. But I don't have time to wait for that, Shh. man. What would you do? Tell me what you'd do. I'm not you your only... so I'm not going to play the what if game. You, you... And there it is right there, you know. Um... The other officer, I, I wouldn't say he's being respectful, but he's he's not saying a whole lot. He's just doing what he's supposed to do. <clears throat> this ain't my situation, so I'm not going to play the what if game with you. And <laughs> I get it, he's a cop and stuff, but this man's dying. You know? Have some fucking, have some human, have some humanity to you. You know? I thought it was just the Marines and shit that removed all your, your human parts when you when you enlisted. You know, cops are supposed to they're supposed to still have some basic level of compassion, and I think that's where the social disconnect has been uh, between the people and the authority that we're under. 
Uh, I'm not a revolutionary. You know, I'm not an anarchist. I'm none of these things. What I am is an observer of bullshit and an observer in, of, of human nature. And I, let's, let's continue. You never said you'd do anything to save your life. You'd do anything to save your life. I want to save you your life. Five kids. Oh, he'd take listen, a dick. Listen, 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 it's not worth the argument right now. Do your jobs, okay? We're not going to have the debate. Hush up. Right. It's only choice I got to live, man. I know. You've been straight up with every single position about this. I've told them all. I've told everyone. I've told people here in this hospital that I'm doing it. He doesn't take opioids because he takes the THC. I have to tell the doctors I'm taking it so for the other medication. So. So it's my right to live, live, man. We're Americans. I was born here. It's my right to live. live. No one. It's okay. Shh. I need you to calm down. I am calm, okay. man. Besides waiting for somebody to do this. Somebody to make me famous. Shh, Elijah. Or no one. Hi, Elijah. You told uh, me, man. It's late, dude. <laughs> did did right? Ryan watch that show? He, she did. He's okay. Yeah, you better keep that camera on him. Make sure he doesn't plant anything. These are smart people. Hey, thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, Doc. Hi, Dr. Hi. Hi. You guys just... We got a cold. Same thing with marijuana. I smell marijuana. I smell marijuana whenever I walk in the room. Okay. And there is no way they could smell it, Doc, because I don't smoke it. I don't have, I, ne I don't ever use a ground up plant. It's an oil that I use in a capsule. Okay. So uh, there's no smoking it. Which is odorless. If you're familiar with the uh, with the THC oil, the capsules, the wax, you know, if you, if you burn the wax, it makes a smell, of course. But the, the way that this man is claiming that he takes it, there's no way there could have been any kind of scent or odor. But the hospital is aware of him using the THC oil. So what it seems like to me is that security got wind of this and somebody didn't like it. So they decided they were going to do something about it. They were going to play uh, in-house vigilante and try to fuck up this man's day. And that's really just some petty shit, you know. And we'll never know the truth. We'll never know what's really going on here. Let's continue. Okay. Um, I mean, well, you don't smoke. You just, you I take it like a pill. Well, no, we have not found anything, but he's got another bag that he's... Do you have, do you have, uh, just from Mobile's point, do you have probable cause to search his stuff? Do you have the right to search his stuff, or do you need a warrant? No, we, we have, we have the right. He's on private property. Okay. Um, Which I'm not sure how entirely true that is. Um, you are on a, on private property when you're in a hospital of any kind. But when you're an inpatient like that, you do have certain rights. And um, I don't know how true that is, what that officer just said. But as we see, he's kind of a dick anyways, so. Okay, uh, so what's the proceeding here? Because he needs to be here. And if you think he's no, okay. 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 taking the song. Correction, he is a dick. He's not kind of a dick, sorry. We haven't found any marijuana yet, so we're not citing it. Okay. okay. We're just here because they called saying they smelled marijuana in the room. Okay. And we're trying to either, yes, there's marijuana or there's no marijuana. And then if we find it. You're trying to make that quota, boy. That's what you're doing. We'll cite it. We'll leave it. We know the citation. We know you guys got to do your job. Let's just do it. Okay. Y'all trying to y'all trying to make that quota the safest and easiest way possible. He's got a bag there that I, I opened my bag and I showed you that yeah, plastic. Okay. That's the only plastic bag they had in. I showed you inside the bag and that's all. You, I'm not if giving you. We the can bag. just search it. I'm not giving you. The declare bag. that there's no marijuana in it. I'm not giving you the bag. Just write me a ticket for marijuana. I told you. We're not going to write you a ticket if we have. I got it right marijuana. here on my finger. I did this. Yes, there it is. I got it. Write me a ticket. We've already looked through these bags. There's a bag behind them. I just want to go home, Doc. 
Um, I want her to take this off me. I want to go home. Before you leave, can, can, we, can you and I talk before you leave? Because I think medical care would be indicated for you to stay. Um, can they yeah, just take yeah. all their bags and leave? Them? Take their bags these and these bags are all, all good. There's a bag behind them. Though. We need to look through. It is my bag of medication. I'm not I'm not letting them dig through it. Just worry. It has my fine, it has, it has, it has my final day things in there. And nobody's going to dig in it. Okay. It's my... Okay, so it has this medication, this bag that these these they're they're so headstrong about searching <clears throat> it has his medications and it has his his final days you know stuff it's sentimental it's not for you and his medications <laughs> i've had so many people close to me drop dead or die or get into accidents and get robbed by the police. And not police collecting evidence. Straight up get robbed. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because you're you and they're them. Um, I would be weary about letting these, these gentlemen look into my medications as well. Even if they were 100% legal, which they are. Because they're going hunting. Either to line their own pockets or to try to try to hook you up. Try to string you up. And I don't this man doesn't have much life left. What's the point in that? He's not a danger to society. It's your fucking problem. To answer your question, it's my final, my final hour stuff is in that bag, and that's my right to have my final, and I'm not digging it out here in front of anybody. Okay, can I ask you? If it's necessary. Can we just take her stuff and let her put every bag and just leave? I can't get out of here. It isn't possible. Yeah, just take all the stuff. I want you guys to make good decisions because this is Facebook Live, and I've got. It's so about 1,200 people Can right I now. Stop. So, stop. so if we want to have a conversation, we'd ask you to turn this off right now. At least off I will with you. At least with live. You can record all you want. Just take it off for live right now. It's, it's okay. not on live, I don't. I promise. Okay. Because otherwise, nobody's going to help you out if you so, keep talking. Hey, no, so, no, 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 we get the problem. It's not helpful. No, 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 And that's it. Um, he shortly thereafter checked out. I think they they ended up searching that bag, and they found CBD oil, which is totally legal, or at least was at the time. I'm not sure of the status right now. And I'm sure they apologized to him, and they you know made a big made a big thing of it, but. They just, they had such a hard on for, for stringing this guy up, for, for getting him on something, you know. They really pushed searching that last bag, you know. What could he possibly have in that last bag? Even if it was full of just fucking buds. What would that have helped anybody? Seriously. I just, I don't get it, you know, and I know this, this video might offend some people. I don't fucking care. Sorry if, I'm sorry if it offends you, but I, re I really don't care. I feel strongly about this. In a world where so much horrible shit is going on all the time, statistically, this is what, this is what's being focused on. This is what three police officers had to spend this much time doing on that day. This shit's just crazy to me. How do you feel about it? Do you feel like they're just doing their jobs? That they were, that they were justified in being assholes to this man? Do you feel like this man was out of line for, for, for keeping his, uh, his camera on? And, and keeping keeping it linked up to, to Facebook Live. 
refusing these motherfuckers from searching his bag, which they had no right to do. I mean, I guess I guess they have the right of the law on their side, but I don't know. I just I I, I feel like respecting people's basic human fucking rights is more important. I don't know. Uh, let me know how you feel. Let's get a dialogue going. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Zed, you have anything to add? He's a dog. Zed says bye, everybody. And woof, woof. Take it easy.